Here is your latest African news. Your news highlights. Africa wide. Italian judge upholds Italians jailing in immigrant death. Mali. Mali accuses Macron of neo-colonial attitude. DR Congo. DR Congo suspends UN troops linked to deadly shootout. South Africa. South Africa lodges WTO complaint against EU citrus fruit clampdown. Uganda. Death tolls from Uganda floods rises to 21 with many more feared dead. Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire discovers new oil gas. Diaspora. Conjoined Brazilian twins separated with the help of virtual reality. Africa wide. Italian judge upholds Italians jailing in immigrant death. A judge in Italy on August 1st ordered an Italian man to remain in jail as an investigation continues into the death of a Nigerian street vendor whose brutal beating at the hands of the suspect shocked many in the world and prompted strong condemnation from the Nigerian government. Police took Filippo Claudio Giuseppe Felazzo, 32, into custody on July 29th, minutes after the vendor was beaten and left for dead on a busy shopping street in the beach town of Civitanova Match as bystanders watched, including at least two who filmed the attack. An autopsy this week will determine the exact cause of death for Alika Ogochuku, 39. Widely circulated videos showed the suspect on top of Ogochuku pummeling him with his bare hands after first striking him with the victim's own crutch. Meanwhile, the Nigerian government demanded Italy swiftly bring the perpetrator of the heinous act to justice. A Nigerian foreign minister statement released July 31st said the government strongly condemns the gruesome murder of a Nigerian and calls on all Nigerians to exercise restraint as the law takes its course. The country's embassy in Rome has been instructed to work speedily together with the relevant Italian authorities to ensure that justice is served in order to forestall a repeat of the unfortunate incident. Mali Mali accuses Macron of neo-colonial attitude. Mali's army-led government has urged French President Emmanuel Macron to abandon his neo-colonial and patronizing attitude as relations between Paris and Bamako deteriorate. France is configuring its position in the Sahel after falling out with the military government in Mali, the center of a bloody 10-year campaign against extremists in the region. Mali underwent coups in August 2020 and May 2021, creating a political crisis that has coincided with the current security crisis. France first intervened in Mali in 2013 to combat an insurgency that had emerged 12 months earlier. However, it revealed this year that it will withdraw its forces. Bamako also condemned what it called hateful and defamatory remarks, blaming the Malian army for killing civilians during recent operations. It criticized Mr. Macron for making erroneous accusations. Relations between Paris and Bamako have deteriorated significantly over the past year. France was pushed out by the military government after nine years' presence in Mali. DR Congo. DR Congo suspends UN troops linked to deadly shootout. UN peacekeepers arrested in the Democratic Republic of Congo over the killing of two civilians at a border crossing on July 31st will no longer serve in the country, according to government spokesman Patrick Muyaya. Fifteen others were injured when the peacekeepers forced their way across the border from Uganda through Kasindi town. The government and the UN peacekeeping mission, MONUSCO, are investigating the incident, Mr. Muyaya said. Meanwhile, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said he is outraged after at least two people were killed when peacekeepers in the Democratic Republic of Congo opened fire at a border crossing. In a statement, Mr. Guterres called for accountability after the incident, which happened as the soldiers forced their way across the border from Uganda into eastern DR Congo. Video footage appears to show an argument taking place before troops in the UN convoy before shooting and sending people running for cover. Over the last week, there have been deadly protests against the UN mission, which many feel has failed to protect people from armed attacks. South Africa 
South Africa lodges WTO complaint against EU citrus fruit clampdown. The WTO spokesperson has announced that South Africa has launched a dispute complaint against the European Union concerning measures imposed by the bloc on South African citrus fruit imports. In a first-ever WTO dispute settlement case initiated by South Africa, the country's request for dispute consultations with the EU was circulated to WTO members on July 31st. South Africa is challenging recently enacted changes to EU phytosanitary requirements for imports of oranges and other citrus products related to the pest Thaumatotibia lusotreta or false codling moth, the WTO statement said. CEO of the Citrus Growers Association, CGA of South Africa, said a consultation with the WTO has been requested by the South African government to address the measures. The Department of Trade, Industry and Competition, DTIC, confirmed that the government has submitted a request for consultation with the EU in terms of the WTO understanding on rules and procedures governing the settlement of disputes. The new EU measures have already impacted an estimated 3.2 million cartons of citrus valued at 605 million rand. Uganda Death toll from Uganda floods rises to 21 with many more feared dead. Death toll in the weekend flooding triggered by heavy rains in eastern Uganda has risen to 21, the Ugandan Red Cross Society URCS said on July 31st. The URCS said heavy rains have displaced thousands of people and more than 1,000 households have been affected in neighboring districts while four others have been put on high alert. The country's meteorological department warned about the northern, eastern and midwestern parts receiving heavy rainfall in August, two days before the incident occurred. Police and the military were called in to help in the search and rescue operations in Mbale, where stranded residents could only watch helplessly as their belongings were washed away by the floodwaters. Côte d'Ivoire Côte d'Ivoire discovers new oil gas. Côte d'Ivoire has reported a fresh discovery of offshore oil and natural gas by Italian firm Eni, expanding the potential of reserves found last year by 25%. In September 2021, the country had announced a find of deposits estimated at between 1.5 and 2 billion barrels of oil and around 1.8 to 2.4 trillion cubic feet, that is 51 to 56 million cubic meters of gas. The latest discovery of the eastern coast increases by about 25% of the previously announced deposits, the Ministry for Mines, Oil and Energy said in a statement, with extraction due to start in early 2023. President Alassane Utaha said he wants Côte d'Ivoire to become a major oil producer. The West African nation's current output is modest at around 30,000 barrels per day. Diaspora Conjoined Brazilian twins separated with the help of virtual reality. Brazilian twins who were joined at the head have been successfully separated with the help of virtual reality. Three-year-old Bernardo and Arthur Lima underwent surgeries in Rio de Janeiro. The teams spent months trialing techniques using virtual reality projections of the twins based on CT and MRI scans. It was described by Sergeant Noor Ul Uwase Jelani as space-age staff. It was one of the most complex separation processes ever completed. He said that for the first time, surgeons in separate countries wore headsets and operated in the same virtual reality room together. The twins had seven surgeries involving more than 27 hours of operating time in the final operation alone and almost 100 medical staff. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Follow, share and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.